A year ago, I was in Vietnam. And after Mass one day, I was summoned to the bedside of a beautiful young sister who was dying. I think she was 29. And the whole community was gathered around the bed. And when we thought that the time had come for death, we sang the Salve Regina. That's the Dominican tradition. That the last thing a brother should hear will be his brethren singing all around his bed. Probably not terribly in tune. But at this time, many people are dying alone, perhaps almost unnoticed. So what does it mean in this time to die well? One of my closest friends, David Sanders, a Dominican of this community, he had to go to hospital, infected by the virus, and he died. Shortly before he died, he telephoned me to say goodbye. And then they let him drift away. But he approached death in a way that was a wonderful witness. He said, I preached the resurrection for years, now I must show that I believe in it. And also, what David knew was that when we die, we don't die alone. Christ was there. Christ was there in the doctors and the nurses. Christ was there in the silence. And we're always in the presence of God because he's at the core of our being, holding us in existence. As St. Augustine said, closer to me than I am to myself. So when we die, we shall see the face of the one who's always been with us, whatever we've lived, however lonely we felt.